Today's video is sponsored by HubSpot. More on them later. In this video, we'll discuss the top programming languages you should be learning or should pick up on. Sure, over the past year, the tech industry has experienced some pretty difficult challenges such as artificial intelligence could replace millions. Google with 12,000 employees cut, Amazon 18,000 employees. It is the epicenter of tech startups, venture capital, Silicon Valley Bank. So is this entire video pointless? Absolutely not. Despite these challenges, I would confidently say software engineering is not going anywhere. In fact, the demand for software engineers is growing and there are ever more opportunities. If you're interested in becoming or staying a high paid competitive developer, it's important that you pick up on new technologies and the most in-demand technologies. So without further ado, let's dive into it. So first up on the list is JavaScript. The internet is and will continue to be the most efficient content delivery system in the world. JavaScript is the backbone of web development. It is used for both front-end and back-end solution. It's highly, if not the most popular language, with around 97% of all websites running JavaScript to some capacity. It can also be used in mobile app development and game development. And the salary range for JavaScript is around 60 to 150,000. And of course, these salary ranges depend on a lot of other factors, such as your location and experience. Many companies like Google, Microsoft, and Amazon use JavaScript in their tech stacks. And with the rise of JavaScript frameworks like React and Angular, it's more important than ever. And with JavaScript, I must mention TypeScript, which has grown lots recently for very good reasons. Personally, I wasn't on board fully yet coming from dynamically typed languages until I started using TypeScript myself and I started noticing a much better developer experience. Then we have Java and you probably remember that really old quote. Not to be confused with JavaScript, Java is a statically typed language making it a little bit more verbose than dynamically typed languages. However, this makes it a little bit more stable and less prone to developer errors. Java is a powerful and still a very popular language that's been around since the mid 1990s. It's great for developing things at large scales and it's used a lot in more enterprise kind of systems. And according to recent statistics, the median salary for Java is around 90,000 per year. And Java is commonly used by large enterprise corporations such as Oracle, IBM, and HP. And one of the more popular Java projects was actually Minecraft. I remember back in the day, there was this Minecraft Java edition that you had to download. Next up and probably my favorite language is Python. Python is a super versatile language that's dynamically typed and interpreted and probably tied with JavaScript for its usage. And it's still one of the fastest adopted languages. So it's one I would always recommend. It's used in so many different fields like web development, data analysis, and artificial intelligence. And by adding Python to your skill sets, you can expect the salary range from 70,000 up to 160,000. And as mentioned, Python can be used for web development with popular frameworks like Django and Flask. Django was actually the web framework that was used to create Instagram. The modern world is so centered around big data. And with Python, you can leverage and make stories out of this big data through data analysis and data science. Then there's AI, which basically speaks for itself with the exponential growth of things like natural language processing and other deep learning models such as ChatGPT and AlphaGo. It's crazy. Now we're starting to actually see the real world applications of AI and Python is mostly at the core of this all. A note on this, we shouldn't be worried about if AI would take over our development jobs. Instead, we should be worried about adapting these new technologies as such. In fact, from history, we've learned whenever there's a revolutionary invention, it's to make our lives easier. And in the end, it creates more jobs. As someone who's been working with Python for several years now, I know exactly how intimidating it can be when you're just starting out. And that's why I partnered up with HubSpot to provide a 100% free resource. This is a intro to Python guide. It would be ideal for developers, analysts, marketers, or any students who are interested in picking up on this language. This comprehensive guide covers everything you need to know about Python from basics like syntax and formatting to some more advanced concepts. And this intro to Python guide was designed to be easy to follow and it includes plenty of exercises and examples so you can learn at your own pace. Whether you're a complete beginner or already have some experience with Python, this is a great way to sharpen up your skills and get more confident with programming. The guide comes in PDF format, which makes it super accessible so you can read it anywhere you like. I want to thank HubSpot for making this video possible and for providing us with this great resource. So don't forget to get your copy of it. I'll leave it down in the description. Next up, we have C++, which is a super powerful programming language. C++ is used for system programming and building high performance applications. So low level capabilities and high performance have made it a go-to choice for building these more complex software systems. 
it's commonly used in companies such as Adobe and Amazon. And one of my favorite applications made with C++ is Figma. So that just exemplifies how C++ is used to build these more complex systems. And C++ was actually the very first programming language I got my hands on back in university because it's really popular among academia. And though C++ had a bit of a learning curve, it was pretty important because it allowed me to learn and be able to apply those patterns and other things I develop with. Next up, we have Swift, which is a relatively newer programming language. Swift is a high level and statically typed programming language loved by many of the developers. It was made by Apple for developing applications on macOS and iOS. And according to Indeed, with Swift, you can expect anywhere between 82 to 155,000 a year. Swift has continued to grow in popularity and is used by companies like Uber and Lyft and Apple, of course. However, because Swift is used for developing things on the Apple ecosystem, its scope may be limited for developers who are looking to build applications for other platforms. And so again, this list is a mix of some well-paid technologies and languages that are already really loved and supported by professional developers. If you notice, I didn't really choose anything that was groundbreakingly new. It was more about choosing some stuff that is already established and already has a good presence in the developer world. And before I conclude, I did want to leave you guys with a couple anecdotes that I learned as I've been putting in my 10,000 hours into coding. And so the first one and one that I've always carried with me is to be a lifelong learner. A popular misconception is that learning stops whenever you leave formal education. Most successful people are those who are constantly learning and adapting to a new change. Google and YouTube are your best friends. As simple as that. There's tons of free resources out there that you need to be taking advantage of. And lastly, the biggest mistakes I did when I started learning was trying to memorize everything. And university, I was kind of confused when my data structures professor would give us tests and on paper. Like, why are we writing code on paper? But the important part was not memorizing syntax. The takeaway there is that concepts and programming patterns are greater than syntax. Hope you found some of this information useful and informative. And as you heard, some of these different programming languages have their own strengths. And if you feel like there's a programming language that I'm probably missing out of, be sure to leave it down in the comments. Thank you for watching until the end and I wish you the best on your own journey.